Hey you guys, let's get into the question for today. The question states, Mr. Hudson is a 63 year old male who takes Coumadin as he has a mechanical valve. He is in the office today to check his PT and INR. INR is one and he currently takes five milligrams of Coumadin PO daily. What is the next best step for the nurse practitioner to initiate? All right, you know I tell you guys to read the stem of the question first as this allows us to answer what they are truly asking us, right? So the stem of the question states, what is the next best step the nurse practitioner should initiate? So what are you guys thinking? I want you to process it. You know, what is the scenario providing you for the next steps to take in this um, scenario? So we know that he has a mechanical valve, he's taking Coumadin, he's on five milligrams daily, and his INR is one. So would you A, administer vitamin K, B, nothing, the INR is normal, C, increase the Coumadin dose by 2.5 milligrams, or D, would you decrease the Coumadin dose by 2.5 milligrams? All right, you guys, you know you want to C, increase that Coumadin dose by 2.5 milligrams, and here's why. Coumadin is what? An anticoagulant, AKA anticoag, you know, it's a blood thinner, right? We have many, but you know, patients with mechanical valves need to be on Coumadin. All right, so we have to monitor that PT and INR. If we don't know anything else, we know when we see an INR of one, you know, mm, something's abnormal, right? So you can eliminate answer choice B because it's not normal. Now, INRs are the people that typically we get confused with it because it's not how you would logically think. The smaller the number, the thicker the blood, right? Remembering this is a blood thinner, so we want to increase it. So we need more of the blood thinner to get it to where we need it to be. So here, you, now you need to think back. With a mechanical valve, the therapeutic range is anywhere from two to three, right? So we're trying to get you up there, so you want to increase it. Now for testing purposes and standard guidelines, you increase and decrease Coumadin. You make the adjustments by 2.4. 2.5 milligrams at a time, okay? So you can increase by that or decrease by that. Now in practice, you will learn to fluctuate with your patients on what works best with them, but by standard guidelines and for your testing purposes, 2.5 milligrams is how we adjust our increments by increasing or decreasing, okay? So again, here, his INR was one, so that is too thick. We need it to be a little bit Thinner. We're trying to get in that two to three range for that mechanical valve because we don't want the blood too thick, causing that valve to clot off. So we're going to increase it by 2.5 milligrams and recheck that PT and INR. Okay. All right. Meet me back here. Like and share with a friend who may find this helpful as well. Bye, y'all.